So Professor Andrew Huberman posted a video recently and said this. I do indeed take an NR supplement every day. I take 500 milligrams of NR. I also, and have separately taken, an NMN supplement. I take sublingual NMN. So I'll take anywhere from one to two grams of NMN as a sublingual powder, which as the name suggests, you put it under your tongue and it dissolves there. It's got this kind of tangy flavor. And the goal for me in taking NR and NMN each day, and I should mention that sometimes I have just taken NMN or just NR to do the comparison between NR and NMN for me in a subjective way, just comparing what are my energy levels, how do I feel, whether or not there are any side effects, and then I've also taken them together and I've arrived at a protocol where I take NR and NMN every single day. And the goal of that is indeed to increase NAD levels within my system. Now, he wanted to be very, very clear that he is not taking NR and NMN to raise NAD levels, thinking that raising NAD levels would actually extend lifespan. He doesn't believe that the data is strong enough to substantiate that yet, that raising NAD levels will extend lifespan in humans. He, but he does say that he has an open mind. He's keeping an open mind, saying that maybe that data will present itself in the future. He just doesn't feel like we're there yet. Speaking of NMN and NR, at the time of posting this video, Do Not Age is currently in the middle of their big Black Friday sale. It's the only sale they have throughout the year, and many of their most popular bundles are marked down as much as 40%. And if you use my discount code, Keto with JT, you can save another 10% on top of that. So so if one that you're interested in is marked down by 40%, you can save a total of 50% when you use that discount code. So, and then they have a lot of different options. You can pick and choose what you're interested in. So if you've been thinking about trying their supplements and you wanna save some money, hopefully that will help. Now, one of my very favorite parts about this video is when he talks about his own personal experience taking NR and NMN. And now I realize what I'm about to say is entirely subjective and I really wanna highlight that. What I'm about to describe is my experience. It is not based on any peer reviewed studies. When I take NR and NMN at the dosages I talked about a little bit earlier, it gives me a lot of sustained mental and physical energy throughout the day. Now I've always had a lot of mental and physical energy, but I'm 48 years old now and I'm interested in doing anything that I safely can to keep those levels of energy as high as is uh, reasonable, right? I don't wanna have so much energy that I can't sit still or so much energy that I can't sleep at night. But I find that when I take NR and NMN in the morning, so typically I'll do this before my first meal, I don't really regulate how close it is to that first meal. So I'll wake up, use the bathroom, hydrate, get my sunlight, um, do all the things I've talked about on other podcasts. But I'll take my NR and NMN sometime usually within about an hour or two of waking up and typically at least 30 minutes to two hours before my first meal, which for me usually arrives uh, around 11 a.m. So sometimes I'll take it long before my first meal. In any event, it gives me a lot of energy and I seem to have that energy throughout the day. I have gone periods of time where I stopped taking NR and or NMN. And while I didn't feel as if I was completely depleted of energy, I did notice a decrement in energy compared to when I took NR and NMN. I find it refreshing to hear a scientist, especially a professor, willing to talk about his own personal experience rather than only relying on this study and that study, etc., I just find myself really identifying with him in this video because my own experience with taking NMN has been very similar. I've made a couple of videos about that, which I can link down below. I, I have more energy. I just feel better when I'm taking NMN. I haven't taken NR yet, but I've been seriously considering that. I was thinking about alternating between the two, but now after watching that video, I'm thinking, hmm, maybe I should uh, take them together. So my reasons for taking NMN are also very similar. I'm not, gonna, I'm not so concerned about living to be 100 or 120 or 150. In fact, when I talk about longevity on this channel, I'm not so much talking about lifespan, meaning how long we live. I'm more focusing on health span, meaning how healthy we are during that time. Or as I like to say, how much life we have <laughs> while we're still alive.